Nikola Tesla insisted that the vast stretches of space weren't empty voids but filled with a subtle, all-pervading medium he called the ether. He described it as a primary substance of a tenuity beyond conception, which, when stirred by a creative force or prana, churned into the matter and energy we know. What did Tesla think matter actually is? He proposed that matter is simply ether in motion, like a whirlpool in a river. When that whirling motion stops, the water of ether relaxes back into its undisturbed state, meaning objects could theoretically dissolve back into the ether if their motion ceased. Tesla built his own dynamic theory of gravity on this idea. How did he explain gravity without curved space-time? He argued that masses set up steady flows and vortices in the ether. Imagine leaves carried along in a gentle whirlpool, and other objects move because they're swept along by those ether currents. In his view, gravity wasn't a bending of geometry, but a hydraulic push within the ether itself. He even ran experiments aiming to catch the ether in action. How did he test for it in his lab? Tesla fired electrons through what he called a practically perfect vacuum and observed them re-emerge as glowing coronas several feet away from the tube's exit. He asked, if there were truly nothing in that tube, what guided those electrons and then sparked them into light? For Tesla, only an unseen medium, the ether, could explain how those electrons carried force through empty space. Despite the famous Michelson-Morley experiment failing to detect any ether wind and Einstein's relativity sweeping away classical ether models, Tesla refused to abandon his vision. Why did he stick to the ether when mainstream physics moved on? He believed that dismissing the ether shut off the path to deeper insights, replacing a rich, mechanical picture with abstract geometry and empty fields. By the end of his career, this stubborn faith in the ether helped marginalize him among his peers, but it also cemented his reputation as a bold thinker who wouldn't let popular opinion dictate his theories. So does the ether still have a place today? While classical ether theories are set aside, modern physics does recognize that empty space seethes with quantum fields and vacuum energy concepts very different from Tesla's ether. But echoing his intuition that space itself is an active participant, not a passive backdrop. Whether that qualifies as a resurrection of Tesla's ether is up for debate, but his dream of a tangible medium beneath it all continues to inspire those probing the universe's deepest layer. Nikola Tesla believed in the existence of a subtle omnipresent medium called the ether, or aether, which he described as a primary substance permeating all of space. To him, the ether was not empty, but a dynamic, ultra-fine fluid through which all forces of electromagnetic, gravitational, and mechanical propagated. He viewed matter itself as a transient manifestation of ether in motion, condensed vortices in an otherwise continuous field. <laughs> when motion ceased, Tesla believed matter would return to the etheric state his model was metaphysical and physical at once, closer to 19th century luminosinal ether than to emerging field theories. Tesla described the ether as being acted upon by a creative force akin to the Vedic concept of prana, linking it to the generation of mass and energy. It's like envisioning the entire universe as a vast, invisible ocean, with all matter being temporary whirlpools in its flow. Tesla postulated that both light and gravity were disturbances within the ether, vibrations or compressions of this subtle medium. Unlike Maxwell's equations, which required a field concept, Tesla interpreted electromagnetic radiation as longitudinal waves traveling through a compressible fluid-like ether. For gravity, he proposed that motion in this medium created pressure gradients that pulled matter together, similar to how air pressure differences move weather systems. This dynamic theory of gravity contrasted sharply with Einstein's view of space-time curvature. Tesla's framework imagined the ether as both transmitter and modifier of all known forces. Tesla envisioned transmitting electrical power wirelessly through the ether by resonating it globally using tuned frequencies. 
It's like thinking of gravity and light not as separate forces, but as ripples and flows within the same cosmic syrup. Tesla reported experimental results that he interpreted as direct evidence for ether. In particular, he noted that energetic discharges in vacuum tubes emitted corona discharges that extended beyond the tube walls, seemingly interacting with empty space. He questioned how electrons could propagate across vacuum if there was truly no medium present. These effects for Tesla indicated the presence of an invisible reactive substance that allowed energy transfer. While modern physics explains these effects through electric fields and ionization, Tesla viewed them as ether-generated events. Tesla's vacuum tubes generated radiant energy effects which he attributed to longitudinal etheric waves rather than conventional electrons. It's like watching sparks jump in a vacuum and, and concluding the void isn't truly empty. It has hidden threads holding everything together. Tesla rejected Einstein's concept of curved space-time, calling it a massive error and proposing instead that gravity results from the mechanical flow of ether. He believes space was filled with this substance and gravitational attraction was caused by ether being pushed around large masses, drawing smaller masses inward. His theory implied that gravitational phenomena could be manipulated through mechanical resonance of the ether medium. This view placed him outside mainstream physics which was increasingly embracing relativity. Tesla felt his theory would someday overturn idle speculations about space curvature. Tesla claimed his unpublished theory of gravity would make space propulsion and matter manipulation possible by engineering ether flows. It's like thinking of gravity as a drain in a pool. Mass pulls ether in, and other objects are carried toward it by the current. Tesla's steadfast belief in ether came at a time when most of the scientific community was abandoning the concept, especially after the McColson-Morley experiment failed to detect ether wind. Einstein's theory of relativity eliminated the need for ether by describing space and time as relative and interwoven, with gravity emerging from geometric curvature. Tesla rejected this arguing that relativity discarded physical intuition and failed to explain fundamental me His mechanistic, fluidic worldview was increasingly seen as outdated and speculative. This led to his growing isolation from academic and scientific institutions. While Einstein won global acclaim for relativity, Tesla's dynamic theory of gravity remained unpublished and unsupported by peer-reviewed studies. It's like insisting on a gear and lever mechanism for radio waves in an age of quantum field theory, principled but disconnected from consensus. Although the classical ether was discarded, modern physics has introduced new fields that in some ways echo Tesla's vision. Quantum field theory describes empty space as filled with fluctuating fields, virtual particles, and vacuum energy. Concepts Tesla might have considered etheric. The Higgs field gives particles mass, zero-point energy fills even a perfect vacuum, and quantum entanglement suggests non-local correlations through some substrate. These ideas differ fundamentally from Tesla's ether, but share the view that the vacuum is active, structured, and far from empty. Thus, his metaphysical intuition found strange resonance in later physics. The Casimir effect shows that even in a vacuum, quantum fields exert measurable force suggesting empty space has substance. It's like rejecting steam engines only to rediscover steam in the form of particle clouds and fluctuating quantum seas. Tesla believed that by tapping into the ether's vast energy reservoir, it would be possible to transmit power wirelessly and even harvest ambient energy freely. His Wardenclyffe Tower was not only a wireless telegraph station, it was a prototype for global energy broadcast through resonant tuning of Earth and its surrounding medium. He claimed that the ether could be set into motion, like striking a bell, and its oscillations would carry usable power across long distances without wires. Critics viewed these ideas as speculative, especially after the tower was dismantled before success could be demonstrated. Tesla claimed that his wireless power experiments lit bulbs miles away from the transmitter, using only the Earth and atmosphere as the medium. It's like tuning into the vibrations of the air around you to power your light bulb. No plugs, just planetary resonance. In the modern era, Tesla's ether theory 
has seen revival in fringe and alternative scientific communities. Some researchers explore scalar waves, zero-point energy, and torsionic fields inspired by Tesla's vocabulary and vision. Though often lacking rigorous empirical validation, these ideas seek to reinterpret physics in ways that reconnect with Tesla's original ether framework. Meanwhile, mainstream physics explores quantum vacuum fluctuations, emergent spacetime, and dark energy, terms that suggest complexity in the fabric of space itself. Tesla remains a symbol of visionary thought, bridging science and mysticism. Many speculative energy devices today cite Tesla's ether theory, even if they diverge from scientific consensus. It's like following an old explorer's map. Not all the landmarks are accurate, but the journey still inspires discovery. Nikola Tesla's conception of ether was deeply tied to his belief that nature is mechanical, harmonious, and filled with hidden currents. Though rejected by mainstream physics, his ether theory was consistent with a worldview that sought physical cause behind every phenomenon. While his vision was ultimately unconfirmed, developments echoes of it live on in modern theories that treat the vacuum as structure, dynamic, and energetic. Tesla's ideas invite us to remain curious about the unseen forces behind nature, even if today's physics describes them in different terms. Whether he was wrong or simply early, his quest for a deeper medium still resonates. Today's physicists speak of the quantum vacuum, Higgs fields and space-time foam, concepts Tesla might have embraced as a calm and ether. It's like discovering that the ocean you once believed was calm and invisible is, in fact, full of waves you just couldn't see yet.